Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been like three weeks and I cut my hair like spontaneously. I was washing it, got tired of detangling it. So I just went ahead and cut it. This lady just came crazy close to my car and she was driving like she was on the freeway. But anyway, yeah, so I cut my hair. I love it. It's so easy to maintain. I just kind of fluff it, wash it, and go. So, yeah. But right now, I'm at Ulta. I got to pick up, like, some um, re-ups on my whey scrub and some other whey products that I use, like, religiously. So, I'm here doing that now. After this, I'm going to go to the gym and work out really quickly. And, yeah, then I'll probably just be kind of catching up with you guys, telling you what I've been up to these past few weeks. And I'm showing you some of the footage that I got from, like, any events or outings that I've been on in the past few weeks. So, yeah. And today is Good Friday for reference. So, you know what day it is. But I'll talk to you guys after I come out of Ulta. All right, you guys, so I finally made it out of Ulta and I just wanted to show you really quickly what I got. If there is like a bunch of um, Laneige lip, you know, mask all over my face, please don't come for me. Don't talk about me. For some reason, I got sunburn on my lips and it like they've been really nasty, like scaly, patchy. I don't even know how it happened because... I didn't have sunburn on my face, but I had it on my lips and I it was just the weirdest thing. Anyway, let me show you guys um, what I got really quickly from Ulta. I got a lot of goodies here. So I just went ahead and re-upped on my Whey um, scrub, the scalp and body scrub. This is the St. Bart scent, which was supposed to be a limited edition last summer, um, but they brought it back and I am ever so grateful. I just wish they would come out with a body cream that goes along with it because that'll be like chef's kiss. But um, until then, I'll just be using like the classic scent Whey body cream. Um, and then my Necessaire unscented body cream that is like a staple for me. The next thing that I got was a Good Molecules um, Clarifying Cleanse Bar. I use this um, under my pits. I use it sometime on my face and on my body. It's gentle enough and it also um, contains salicylic acid for your, like, your pimples and sometimes I get occasional back knee so I like to use it for my back as well and then I'm trying to dig in this bag pods on me okay and then I got the good molecules yerba mite um, wake up eye gel I love 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 this eye cream if you follow me on Instagram then you probably saw that I did a reel of like an empty tool empty tool I can't speak an empty tube of this eye cream I love it if you haven't tried good molecules you really should um, it's a clean skincare brand and their prices are super affordable I think in my opinion um, this tube was like 10 bucks they have just a really great array of cleansers and skincare products in general so definitely check them out and then I got another staple in my skincare collection um, which is the Tula protect and glow SPF I think it's 30 yeah SPF 30 sunblock I love this um, I do tend to alternate a lot with my SPFs with my sunblocks um, so I use this one I use my Dr. Dennis Gross I use my dermatology I use super goop I just you should always have a SPF in your rotation guys even if you aren't outside all day long you should still be wearing an SPF and the last thing that I got <clears throat> was um, this Chanel scent Eau Fresh, and it's like a florally really really pretty scent I got a small one I think I got the one point 
which one is it is it like the 1.7 i think it's a 1.7 ounce bottle don't quote me um generally with my fragrances for me if it's my first time purchasing the fragrance i will go with the smaller size because i want to see how it's going to work with my uh, body chemistry i want to see what the lasting scent power will be and then i also want to know what the ending scent will be because again you know everybody's body is different so excuse me i don't know like how it will smell on me after you know after everything so i like to start off with a small one if i like if i like the end results um, after the bottle is finished then i tend to size up and i'll go for a bigger size if i decide to make that fragrance a staple in my collection so we shall see um and then they also gave me it, this taupe bag it, it was like a gift with purchase it's super cute it's like a tan color but i'll show you guys that at a later time because it's really big and i don't feel like trying to wrestle it out of the bag and and hold the camera and it's just a lot going on right now and i'm trying to hurry up and get in a quick workout um so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the gym and then i'll talk to you guys later yeah talk to you after the workout what is up you guys today is saturday the next day i talked to you yesterday as you can see by my bonnet i am just relaxing i'm watching one of my favorite shows on hulu called broad city um it is it's it can be like a little vulgar if you're not used to watching shows like this um but i love it it cracks me up and i'm just re-watching all of the seasons because i like the show it's funny to me um, let me see if I could show you guys like a scene you might be familiar if you're not and you like Comedy Central shows then this should be right up your alley. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all my lips are so burnt like <laughs> looks like this piece of skin from a rotisserie chicken <laughs> but yeah i changed my nails too to spring nails see if you guys can see them and my camera is about to die so i will catch up with you guys at some point later on tonight um but yeah i i have a few plans so i plan on taking you guys along with me for that um and yeah i just been relaxing all day I'm doing laundry i made some breakfast earlier um i filmed like a few pieces of content that i needed that are due this week coming um so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling because i'm rambling now and i will catch up with you guys like i said later tonight
hey you guys what's up I know my hair looks a little bumpy um, I tried to put it back like in a little ponytail I still have a just enough hair to be able to put it in some sort of ponytail so I'm glad for that um, but if I would have been able to go shorter I would have preferred to go shorter um, just because it would have been even less manipulation that I would have to be worrying about Anywho, today is Monday, the day after Easter, and I'm at the gym. I'm going to get in a quick workout. It's like noon, um, and then after this, I do need to run like a few errands. I'm going to go back home, take a quick shower, and um, change clothes, of course, and then I'll take you guys with me to run, like I said, just a few errands. There are some things that I need to get. I'm in the market for a air fryer. Um, and I really want a Crooks air fryer because it's a black owned company. Um, and I, yeah, I saw them at Target like a while ago, but I was undecided on which one I wanted. I think they come in two colors, the, the bigger ones, the nine quart ones, um, because I would want it to fit, you know, food for my entire family. So I'm in the market for a nine quart one. I think they come in pewter, so like a kind of silverish off gray color and then a white. The white I haven't seen in stores. Um, it's been sold out. It's been sold out online. It's been sold out in store. So I've never even seen it in person, but it's really pretty online. Um, and then I think Bed Bath & Beyond has some that are the pewter color yeah like the pewter silverish grayish color and also with um, stainless steel accents on it so that would go really well in my kitchen because I have stainless steel appliances so I'm gonna go there um, and see if they have it because I have a ba bed bath and beyond coupon I think it's for like 20% off bed bath and beyond if you don't know they always have a good sale they always have a coupon that you can download or sign up for via email or text message and they just always have really good deals and really good um, small appliances available so I'm gonna take you guys with me to do that and yeah but let me go in and get this quick workout in and before I do hang on I have a new Celsius flavor. Um, this is the sparkling orange pomegranate. So the can looks like this. This is my first time ever having this one. And my thoughts on it, it's cool. It's not as sweet as the other sparkling um, Celsius drinks that I've had. The flavor is a lot more subtle, but I will say that I think it's a lot more subtle because the orange in it kind of takes over if that makes sense so it's not as sweet and the taste isn't as strong it's a really subtle like with a hint of pomegranate and mainly orange so if you're into orange or pomegranate I would say give it a try um, out of 10 I would give it probably first impressions a seven seven and a half just because I'm used to drinking um, this the carbonated Celsius drinks that have a more potent flavor than this one so would I try it again I would say yes but I think because this is my first can and first try I'll just have to I don't know like taste it again or something and then we'll see <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I just pulled up to Bed Bath & Beyond. I have secured the coupon. I found it in my emails. So let's go ahead and go in and keep our fingers crossed that the stock online is accurate and they actually have the Crooks air fryer in stock. So let's go. Oh no, that's the ninja. Uh -huh. Round and round. This is it. This is the one that I'm getting the crooks. Um, yeah, 
and six cooking presets, so that's good. And it's nice and big, so we can all use it. I'm gonna get this and throw it in the cart now. Oh, hey guys, uh, my name is Jeremiah. I'm here with State of Mind. I'm just showcasing our small business, a vegan lifestyle brand based out of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, some of the items that we do have is our plant based wallet made out of pineapple skin. Uh, we have 11 to 1 multi tool, a natural shea butter body soap. It um, has natural oils in it, helps with sensitive skin. And then in each bag, you get two pairs of socks with discount codes on it. Perfect. Um, and how much is the bag? Um, usually on our website, it's about $100. But today, we're out here doing it for 25 bucks on foot. Nice. So feel okay. Free to check us out. State of Mind Focus on Instagram. Uh, and then stateofmindnyc.com is our website. Perfect. Okay. Check them out, you guys. I'm definitely about <laughs> to buy my bag. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, y'all, uh, finally made it home. I just wanted to show you guys super quick what I got from Target. Um, so I got this Naturium body wash. Oh, let me see if I could angle the camera better. And I wanted to show you guys the products up close versus me just holding them up. So that way you can actually see um, what the labels look like just in case you're actually interested in any of the products. But this is the Naturium, the Soother, Sensitive Skin Body Wash. I have some people with sensitive skin in my house. So I got this, the lavender bottle. Let's see, that's a little better. And then, I got some more razors. Currently, I'm using Harry's razors. Um, these are men's razors, but I just find that they give me a really good close shave, so I got those. I got some more gloves to clean with. I like these gloves because they kind of have like a soft lining inside when you're cleaning, so I got two packs of those. And then I got um, just some travel Tylenol extra strength capsules for my kids' backpacks and my purse for when we're on the go and we have a headache or something like that. Comes in handy. Um, then I got these Febreze small spaces um, air fresheners. Now the only thing about these, I got them for my car, but they don't have clips. But because I wanted the amber oud cedar smell, um, I got them anyway. So I'm thinking, because see, if you look in the back, this is how they look. So I'm sure they're actually for the home and not for the car, but whatever. I'm going to use them in my car and I'll just put them under my seats. I really wanted that scent, so I didn't want to compromise. Got these super cute pins by Noted. And I got these, they're actually felt tip colored pins, but I got them for my purse, just because I like how they look. And I like the color scheme. Might not show up correctly on camera, but one is like a mustard color, one is like a coffee color, and then one is like a chocolate color. So super cute. And then I got, this is for one of my kids, just a pocket hand sanitizer for school. And I got um, Quest Bars. I got this s'mores flavor. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard good things. And if you go on the Target website, like it has really good reviews and everybody says how good it tastes. And I also got um, Lastly, the Quest birthday cake protein bars and this flavor as well had really good reviews and it has 21 grams of protein in it. I actually got these just because I'm kind of burnt out on protein shakes to be honest with you. So I went ahead and got those. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and get the drawers of the air fryer set up and then I'll show you guys the air fryer once it's all set up. 
my bad you guys i totally forgot to unbox the state of mind um gift bag that i bought from the young kids at target and what i will say is that they were um, young business owners anything that the youth is doing that is positive i'm all for it i will always support and i'm always going to figure out a way to make sure that i contribute to their success in some way if possible and to kind of just you know keep them motivated i feel like everybody it's our duty at this point to push the youth when they're doing something positive and to support each and everything that they do so that you can become possibly a pillar within their success. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and unbox. Mmm, smells really good. Okay, so this looks like it's their, I believe he said it was their black charcoal soap. And it's really, it smells really good. It has 100 mg's of CBD in it. And it smells so good. I can't stop smelling it. It smells really good. Let's read the back and see what it says really quick. Okay, born in the streets of New York City in 2019, our brand is all about encouraging people to stay focused on accomplishing their goals in life. The Rhino is no doubt a survivor. And like the Rhino, we have to protect ourselves from the daily chaos that is life by keeping focus. Our handcrafted soaps are made in America from all natural oils with no harmful chemicals. This level of quality provides the lasting and refreshing characteristics that we represent, excuse me, that we feel represents what we as a company are all about. Stay fresh, stay focused, always protect your state of mind. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> Manufactured in Brooklyn, New York, you guys smells so good and look at this look how cute this is it says big you know what ucking i didn't say effing i said ucking but you you get it you get what it stands for so isn't that cute so i got that in here and then i don't know oh it got i have two soaps that came with it and you guys, these products are all sustainable, which I love. I'm obsessed. Like, I love sustainable beauty and sustainable skincare. So this is another soap. Let me see. I'm trying to see what, what kind this one is. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can smell it. Mmm, it smells really good, but I don't know the name of it. Ugh. Well, that sucks because I don't know the name of it. But you can find all of their products at State of Mind Focus. It's right here. State of Mind Focus. And let's see what else. It's like a lot of goodies in here. Oh, look. They also included some sustainable socks in the bag so i can't wait to get these washed so that i can start wearing them very nice and these are made with 97 percent polyester three percent spandex so it's pretty cool and i like the little pattern it's cute let's see what else there's another pair of socks And I like the color blocking on these, that's cute. I could definitely see myself wearing these socks like with a pair of Converse or something. And they also included a card holder. And I believe, I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure, this is a sustainable product as well. And the material is really soft. So love that. Yeah, but you guys for sure, check them out and definitely support. Guys, so I have my steak seasoned. I just use a really basic seasoning. Hold on a second, because I'm gonna have to take my glove off to show you. Sorry about the shaking, but yeah, that's the steak. Um, the cut of the meat is a sirloin. 
So I used this Kinder's seasoning blend and it's basically just salt, pepper, and garlic. It's really good, it's four steaks. And then I used a little organic rosemary because um, I actually like the taste of the herb on my meat and not just cooking in the same pot. And then before I put the seasoning on, just to give it a little bit of moisture, I sprayed it in the nonstick canola cooking spray. So now I'm going to put it in the air fryer on 360 and let's see how it turns out, you guys. All right, guys, this is how the steak came out. I haven't cut into it yet. Looks like the edges are pretty crispy. But I'm getting ready to cut in it and I'll show you guys the final touch of how it cooked and then I'll decide if I want to put it in a little longer. Okay, so I'm cutting into it now. Okay, and let me spin it around. That's how it looks inside. It looks like it's pretty well done to me. And now I'm gonna taste it. Let's see. And I like my steaks medium rare, so this should be just up my alley, but it's interesting because I don't see any blood left. It looks well cooked. Oh wow, it's freaking delicious. Mm-hmm, that's good. And it's tender, and it's juicy. Get a Crux air fryer if you don't already have one. I'll leave the link uh, below in the description box for the one on sale at Bed Bath & Beyond. If you don't have one, try it out. Pick it up. Okay, you guys, so that is going to conclude this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week because today is Monday. And I will see you next time. Bye.